coming at you like Cleopatra. Flicky, flicky. Flicky, flicky. Easy now. Welcome to me vid. Me appreciate you buying this because me realize there is a lot of choice out there. Personally, me would have gone and bought Goodwill Humping. But whatever. Me just want to say me can't believe how many of you bought me video last year. You should have just nicked it, innit? Ain't that taught you nothing? Anyways, this year I has made this a charity video. The proceeds I is putting straight back into the ghetto of stains. You probably know about this, but there has been a serious drought in Berkshire this year, with it being almost impossible to get hold of any good quality skunk. Even young kids and pregnant mums is having to go without. Oh, the inhumanity. So for every 1,000 videos that is bought, we will make sure that a family can get monged for an entire week. And for every 50,000 that is got, we will send out 200 kits so that people can make their own homegrown. Let it not be said that I is a brother who does not care. In fact, my heart is my second biggest organ. Aye. On this vid, you will see the fattest flavors from the series, plus enough unseen rare groove stuff. Joints that was never allowed to be put out on the telly because of the white boys that rule Channel 4. A lot of this is uncut, just like my beast used to be, before me had its tummy out removed as a Valentine's present for me Julie. So skin up a bifta and savor the flavor. Peace. These are the worst injuries I've seen in the whole of my career. What happened to him? I don't know. But they say he saved the world. This must be Evan, and you must be Ja. Big up yourself. Can I come in, please? We've already got Tupac and Biggie. Heaven's not ready for another angel. <laughs> Go back to Earth, Ali. Your work there is not yet done. Enough said. <laughs> While I is up here, I couldn't get an extra couple of inches, could I? <laughs> no. Eleven is enough for any man. Hold on. It just moved. going to be talking about the drug thing. Let's start from over here. I mean, that's Moroccan black, isn't it? Yeah. After being a double <laughs> you didn't know that. How much would this cost you on the street? About 60, 70 pounds. Aye, but you'd probably be getting ripped off if you had to pay that much. Yeah. I mean, you can get it cheaper than that. OK. So what is the names <laughs> for it? I mean, we all know it's called the bionic, the bomb, the puff, yeah. the black, the herb, the scentsy, the chronic. Yeah. The sweet Mary Jane, the shit, the bomb, the ganja, the reefer, the bad, the Buddha, the homegrown, the ill, the Maui Maui, the method, the pot, the shake, the stunt, the stress, the tide, the wacky. But is there any other terms that parents should be aware of? 
puff, blow. Lots of, lots of names. Draw. And what is its effects? Uh, you can go paranoid, which means you think people or things are coming at you. Aye. Um, it makes your heart race. Uh, your blood pressure can go low, so you can feel a bit woozy sometimes. It's got a, a lot of medical effects on the body. And is there any negative effects? <laughs> no, those are negative effects. But uh, long term, there are negative effects. So if you wanted to get started, would you recommend this as a good first smoke? I wouldn't recommend it, no. So, so far, this stuff is all legal. No, uh, no it's not. What, these things? No, but if you has got it in your own, then that is cool, isn't it? No. It's, it's, it's all illegal. It's all against the law. But if you was using it for personal use or whatever, you was... It's mm -hmm. legal if you has got, like, half a kilo or something like that. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try that on. All right. What if it's your religion? Then you have to convince the court it's your religion. But let's say someone don't look like a raster, but they's got a couple of Bob Marley records <laughs> and it's got one of those hats with dreads attached or whatever. Yeah. Do you think that that would get them off in a court? Don't think so. All right. All right. And which drugs is Class A? Class A drugs are the, well, mainly the, the heroin and cocaine type of drugs. Does Class A absolutely guarantee that there is better quality? No, nothing to do with quality. We have total crap. Okay. So what is these? Um, chemical name is 3,4-methylene-dioxymethamphetamine, which is why a lot of people call it ecstasy. Ain't the most worrying thing about these, though, that it actually make you enjoy house music? Yeah, you enjoy music, yeah. Is there a chemical inside it that actually make you dance like a bellend? Yeah, you, it makes you dance. What is it, that chemical called? Well, it's, it is, it's, it's the ecstasy, it's the actual chemical itself. How many E's can you take in one night and still be safe, if, it, if you ask to do it? Uh, some people can take um, two or three E's and no problems. Because I has never, ever taken any drugs and you can test me piss, but <laughs> I has got a mate called Dangerous Dave and I ain't going to say his family name, obviously. But he say that he has taken 22 E's in one night. Did he have a headache? Did he feel...? Well, he said he was like, you know, he found it difficult to get to sleep. Yeah. But the next day he was really buzzing and actually the people on the Egham to Rice Lip bus said that he drove it better than he ever done it before. <laughs> so do you think it can actually help him? It wouldn't help you to drive a bus. Do you think it's ever right to give animals an E? Well, if you want to know more about a substance, I'd rather you gave it to uh, a Your rabbit pet. or a rat rather than uh, taking it yourself and testing it on yourself. For real, what if they look sad? Do you think it's right to give your animal an E then? I don't think it would help. Because my mate Jesse F once fed one to his dog and it went mental and started barking and then tried to bone the cat. <laughs> Is that kind of thing possible? It's quite possible, yeah. Don't forget, uh, one tablet is a lot for a dog. For real. Which is the type of acid that actually makes you fly? No acid makes you fly. But ain't Acid there... can make you think you fly. But ain't there one, cos my mate Dave said he took this type and he flew all around the room and then his mum told him to get some ciggies from the shop and he actually flew there down at the market, you know, okay. in the buses yep. and flew back and was back in like five seconds or whatever <laughs> but he'd forgotten to buy the ciggies. Well, that's the answer, isn't it? You, you think things are happening to you. You, you may think you can fly, um, but your feet are still on the ground. They never leave the ground. And if you're not careful, you might trip up and hurt yourself. <laughs> So, with the old thing here, what is the lesson, the real lesson that people out there need to know? Substances, chemicals, drugs, affect the way your body works. For real? Your body is beautifully constructed. Thank you. It works very, very well. If you take any of these things, you run a big risk of making it work not so well. Aye. 
Over 15 murders happen in the US every second. That is a well scary percentage. And when the coppers can't handle it, they're calling this special branch called the FB. Aye. Ali the FB, Ali in the FB, go! Ali in the FB, Ali in the FB, go! So what actually is the FB? The FBI is the, the, the FBI <laughs> Federal Bureau of Investigation. It's about 80 years old. It was created in the early part of this century. Speak. Do you think yeah. you could use something like that? Yeah. We, you know, we, when we're trying to interrogate a suspect, we use a certain amount of psychological uh, pressure. But if that failed, would you not consider guffing on someone's head? <laughs> no. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. That's what I see. But it doesn't happen nearly as often as the movies would make you think. I might suspect that you're engaging in criminal activity. And you're using. How would you know? Well, say, some, one of my informants tells me. They tell me, you what, know. From the. from Berkshire Police? <laughs> you know, or someone on the street All that right. I know tells me that they think that you're selling drugs out of your apartment, out of your flat. That ain't true. No, but if one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs... Who? No, just for, for example, if one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs, and then, another one, Dave? And, then a, and then another one of your friends tells me that you're selling drugs, then we can take that information and go to a judge and say, we have reason to believe that Ali is selling drugs. I ain't... No. I ain't... No, 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 Who's been grassing me out? So... Do you do stuff with the Mafia? Yeah, the, we, we uh, organize crime, we refer to it as. One of the more day-to-day uh, -day kinds of crimes that the uh, Mafia is, is famous for is uh, stealing uh, shipments of merchandise. For real? So if you, if, if, if you and I hijack a truck Aye. Fu full of uh, Tommy Hilfinger sportswear, Aye. if you and I steal that merchandise and sell it on the street, why is he talking about this on camera? <laughs> Why, you know we're being filmed. Oh, no, no, sure. But, I mean, it happens all the time. I, it, this kind of thing goes on all the time. I mean, you and I make $25,000 a piece. Do you want to talk about this afterwards? Or... No, no, just using this as an example. Ah, all right, okay. Just using to, to make a point. Okay, so what is third-degree murder? If I come walking into my house and I find you there, um, in bed with my wife. That ain't never gonna happen. <laughs> that ain't I swear to you no. today. I mean, I don't know what your right. wife looked no, like no, or whatever, no, no, no. but I, I swear, no. I would never do that to you. Even, Again, if, even if you was my worst enemy or whatever, I would never Hi do that. Hypothetical. I'm so angry when I see this that I take my gun out and I shoot you and then I shoot my wife. Well, I'll shoot you first. Yeah, right. No, you don't have a chance because I'm faster than you are. For real, I was right. busy right. boning your mixes. And mixed I have a gun in your right. So, so that's murder. I have no legal right to murder you because you're in Just because his eyes slip in one in. Check this. We're now in a place called Ogan's Alley, which is part of the FB training thing, isn't it? Yep. This is the FBI Academy's right. training complex. It was opened in 1987. The instructors in Hogan's Alley will teach you how so to. How would we go the in door, here? It's the FBI. And then I kick no, you, the can't kick, you can't kick the door. You don't come in. Once again, you are an employee of the FBI, like but that's in the movies. So let's I get someone here and I have to get down there. And then I still got enough uh, and then, <laughs> then it's a bulk. It's a bulk in there. Here it's a, it's a bulk. <laughs> this is not a real person. I'll just punch him in the face. See what you're looking at. What are you looking at? <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Take that look off your face. <laughs> what is your job? Uh, I'm the assistant director in charge of all the criminal investigations of the FBI. Um, I know you ain't supposed to talk about it, but everyone out there wants to know about it. What is Studio 54? It's a, uh, a nightclub in uh, New York City. For real, but what's in the basement? You know what I say? I don't know what you... Uh... You know what I was talking about, like long bodies, massive eyes, tiny <laughs> nose, you know, nose, you know, uh, dong done in a knot, you know, big long fingers. 
Uh, is this something from the X-Files? Dong, 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 dong. <laughs> Do you ever get calls in about aliens and all that kind of thing? Yeah, I've never gotten one. Because me mate Ricky C, he was coming back from the staying station and he was going past the Elmsley Centre and he suddenly felt this thing grab him and, excuse me French, go up his exit hole. <laughs> and the next day he found himself in this trolley at the back, you know, near the buses. How do you explain that? I don't, I, I, I don't know anything about it, I'm sorry. Young people out there, if they mm. want to join the FB, right. what should they do? They, they should stay away from drugs, they should go to college, <laughs> and they should uh, study hard. And if they got none of those for years, they got a chance? They don't have much of a chance. When you hear the word magician, you probably think of a pervy old bloke who's always trying to touch up his much younger assistant. <laughs> Luckily, my next guest ain't nothing like that. So big it up for Paul Daniels. Respect. <laughs> Me, I'm so delighted to be on this show. I can't tell you about that, man. What the fuck is you doing? I'm, uh... Now, this... You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> you is in the magic circle. What exactly is that? Magic Circle, oh, formed a long time. It's a club for guys, and now women, thank God, who, um, who are just interested in the art of magic. 20 years ago, did you used to let women in? No, it was fairly recent. Ain't that hypocritical, though, because I bet your missus lets you in her Magic Circle, all right? <laughs> according, according to one press report, three times a night, yeah, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I tell you what. When I was a kid watching your show, yeah. I personally felt some of the magic, because sometimes I would see that Debbie McGee and the beast would start levitating. <laughs> yeah, me too, which is why I married her. For yeah. you? I can't see. Oh, there you are. Yeah. Right, yeah. All right, can you do any trick? Within reason. Because me mate Ricky C, he's got this amazing trick where he put his beast between his legs, right? <laughs> and he pretend to be a girl. And him, and him well fat, and he like go like that and everything, right? And you know, you see him and he look quite fit and he going, oh, I feel that love as a lady, as a lady. Until he turn around and then you see his like balls and then... <laughs> you, you feel bad. Can you, can you do that? <laughs> I can't think why I would ever want to. No, I would not do that. Yeah, but I'm maybe if like, Debbie wants a bit of a change or whatever, <laughs> you know, I want a bit of lady tonight, and you go, I, I is a lady. <laughs> Debbie, cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. Yeah, I can't imagine. I know Debbie rather well, and I can't imagine she would want that bit of a change. I don't know why I'm thinking that. This is my best trick, eh? Huh? Oh, this is a good one. All right. Check this. All right. All right, I'm checking it. Debbie McGee. Woo! <laughs> Debbie McGee. <laughs> I really... No, I'm sorry. I really object to this. I really object to this because you've stolen my act. Just in theory, Mr. Daniels, could you change something that weighs, let's say, an eighth of an ounce of something <laughs> into something that weighs a quarter of an ounce of something? You have obviously something in mind for this. I have something in mind, but I ain't gonna tell you what that something is <laughs> unless you pay me something to get that something. <laughs> but then my quarter of an ounce of something would only weigh an eighth of an ounce of something because I'd have paid you my something to find out what your something was. <laughs> you is well clever. <laughs> lot a lot, so lot a lot, lot a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You gotta do what? You gotta go, not a lot. Now, I reckon you is the world's greatest magician. 
No, actually, there's David Copperfield in it. Yeah. <laughs> Who is better? David does his scene, I do my scene. For real. I work for comedy, he works for drama. And that's it. How come he got Schiffer and you only get McGee then, if he ain't that good? <laughs> well, because he didn't get Schiffer. All right. She's gone. Do you think that relationship was real? Or do you reckon that actually he prefers to take it up to Schiffer? <laughs> Well, that's something I've never really gone into. For real. That is what I heard. He said, Paul, select time. <laughs> After me get my five minutes free view on the Fantasy Channel, me feel relaxed enough to flick around the other foreign satellite stations. <laughs> that's where me saw this geezer called Borat, who's on Kazakhstani television, where he does a guide to Britain. Check it. <laughs> I am here now with Lady Chelsea to learn how to be a real gentleman. Okay. It's very nice to meet yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. <laughs> Doing my best. Yes. <laughs> How can you tell if someone is polite when you first meet them? Well, you don't really. I mean, perhaps it's the way they say hello and shake your hand. Yes. Is the way I dress nice? Is it okay? It's not yeah. a typically English way to dress. And my shoe is a good? My shoes, yes. That's it nice. is from a shoe express in Oxford Street. <laughs> yes. no, that, that's fine. Black, yes. yes. And uh, what do we will eat at dinner soon? Lunch. Charlotte, this is Borat. How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? How do you do? So we have a toast, all right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. To yes. Jenny. Toast. Yes, yes. yes. To, to Jenny and to television. To Jenny and to television. To Kazakhstan. To Kazakhstan. To the viewers. Thank you. Kazakhstan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, <absolutely>. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. You have wine? You have wine in Kazakhstan? The real idea, if somebody gives you a nice glass of white wine, you should sip it. Imagine you're making love. You don't want to do it too quickly. To make love? Do I have a... You don't do it too no, quickly. Don't make Everything slowly. Don't make love too quickly. Otherwise, it's over too quickly. Ah, yes, I like to last a long time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. Is that good? Well, that's perfect. I'm good. <laughs> and uh, what uh, subject do we talk about? Um, it's anything, really. It depends who starts it. I mean, you could start off by... What would you say? Well, anything that comes into your head, really. Yes. Mmm, it is very nice. My wife, she is dead. <laughs> Why? What happened? What happened? She uh, died in um, in a field. How? How? She died from um, work, but with an uh, accident. But it's not important. I have a new oh. wife. Is it okay to talk about what I did last night? Yes, as long as you don't go into lots of details, whether it would be... Yes. I don't know. Oh, well, yes, if you said, yes, I went to see a film last yes. night, or... Last night I had a sex. <laughs> oh, boy, so I told you, you shouldn't mention your, um, what you did last night. Oh, never you mind. said I can say what no, I did last night. You, you can say what I did last night. I had a lovely time last night. But it was nice. She was a lovely. And, um, how do I say, um, I do not want to be rude. What if I need to do a toilet? You just say, oh, just excuse me for a while. Excuse me for a while? Yeah. Please excuse me. Yes. I will go for a minute. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Certainly. Yes. Please excuse me. I... Certainly. Thank you. Okay. 
So. Would you like some more potatoes and peas? Because you haven't had any meat. Would you like some more? Oh, we have a pudding. Uh, or do you want to have a lovely dessert? We have pudding. Yeah. Sweet. Good sweet. Oh, yes, good. it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Thank yes. you. Yeah. I had a good sheet. <laughs> <laughs> You know when the Chinese say yeah, when they say they've had a good meal, they do a huge amount of horrendous gherking and burping. Mm. What do do, do a, what is a what is a gherking? I mean, you go, burping. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, you do it. Well, I, no, I can't do it. I can't. Don't do that. Oh. Oh. A big nose. <laughs> uh, it is very nice to have met you. Very good. To have met you. Correct. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Think about this. Almost everyone in the old world was once a child. <laughs> Even I used to be a kid. Though I matured so fast that by the age of 17, I actually had pubes. <laughs> by the time me was 21, me had so many that I put them in dreads. <laughs> in case you was wondering, I has now got them beaded. <laughs> but anyways, I digest. It, <laughs> it ain't easy being a kid, but it is easy being a coward. That is why I set up the Ali G Foundation to reward children of achievement who has done amazing things against all the odds. So tonight is our first Kids With Courage Awards. <laughs> first up is Darren Spencer. He's now Darren. How old is you? I'm 12. And you has been very brave, isn't it? His mother was very ill in hospital, weren't she? Yeah, that's right. And Darren was left alone at his home, looking after his little baby brother while his daddy was at work, innit? That's right, Ali. And it was here that Darren showed how grown up he was by leaving the house, seeing his neighbour's 7 Series BMW and hot wiring it. <laughs> but his bravery didn't stop there. He then drove it up the M6 at 110 miles per hour <laughs> in the wrong direction. <laughs> you is one special kid. <laughs> What happened next? I crashed it. You was being very modest there, Darren. You didn't just crash it, did you? Because Darren rolled it four times, <laughs> got out, checked there was no one around, and then pissed in the front seat <laughs> before having the good sense to torch it. <laughs> yep. Respect. <laughs> you is a great example to young children. Let me give you the first Children of Courage Award. <laughs> now, second up, we have Warren Spedding. Now, this is serious. You is a, you is a real disabled. You ain't just mucking around. <laughs> That's right, I am. But Warren ain't never let his disability get in the way of him leading a normal life, is it? I've tried not to. Because, despite being in a wheelchair, Warren managed to go to his local Richer Sounds and nick a pair of 40-inch Wharfdale speakers. <laughs> and that is an extra special achievement, because a lot of these shops don't have proper access for wheelchair fees. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations. <laughs> now, little fella, you rescued your nan from a bird in building, innit? Nah. So, what's your achievement? I'm going out with Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> oh, yeah? Jimmy Hill? I got engaged to her last week. Well, well that's nothing. I has done it with Kate Moss. What? Illegibly. <laughs> Illegibly. <laughs> now, don't try... Now, don't try any of this at home, cos all these kids, apart from the little virgin, is convicted young offenders. Please give it up for the kids of Courage. <laughs> now we...
was lucky enough to have one of the brightest young things to have hit our TV screens over the past few years. She is one of the most fascinating young women in Britain today, and she is a role model for thousands of girls in the new millennium room. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, enough said, Gail Porter! <laughs> Hello. How are you? Nice. <laughs> Hello. Do I call you Ali or Mr. G? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Got a first question. Me mate Dave says he has shagged you. Is that true? I don't know. What. Okay. So, how did you get into the telly? Um, I worked behind the scenes for a bit, you know, made coffee and tea and I was I a runner you. and stuff. Me heard you got an HND. Yeah. <laughs> As you've been to the clinic to sort it out. <laughs> I'm, uh, I've got very effective cream, thank you. I fool you. The rash is gone. That is nice. Yeah. <laughs> Although, with a rash, it would be nice too. <laughs> <laughs> So what is your ambitions and all that? I'm just going to make lots of money and be very famous and then get a house in New York. You is so fit. <laughs> <laughs> Has you ever been to Berkshire? <laughs> um, I've been to Newport Pagnell. Hey, you should come to Berkshire. They have a dry slope skiing thing at Bracknell. <laughs> Do you live there? I live close. <laughs> It's a bit bright in here. Do you mind if I turn down the lights a little bit? Uh, no, not at all. Yeah. It's a bit cold in here, isn't it? <laughs> do, do you want to sit a bit closer? Um, I'm quite comfy. Do you want to sit over here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. My mum's watching. Yeah. Yeah. If this goes well, you lot can fuck off out there. <laughs> You've got nice big eyes. Thanks, so have you. Can I touch them? If you <laughs> Can I hold your hand? If you want. Every breath you <laughs> Every move. <laughs> Every breath you take, <laughs> every move you make. <laughs> Is this clean? Yeah. I just went to the toilet, but I've just washed them. Is that the Puff Daddy version or the Sting version? That's the Puff Daddy, right, obviously. Okay. I ain't a bucket one. Okay. <laughs> I'll be watching you. Oh, can't you see? <laughs> you belong to me. <laughs> Papa dong and dung. <laughs> Every breath of it. So, yes or no? All right. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we're good. I'll finish up the rest of the show and get on with it. Thank you very much, Gail Porter. Ali <laughs> G. Now listen, Gail may have taken her clothes off, but she's never had a midget munch on her kebab. <laughs> have you? Have you? So in order to meet girls like that, while I was in Cannes, I got lost and accidentally found myself in the porno festival. <laughs> Love is the most beautiful and natural thing that happens in the world. So what is wrong with seeing on a video what happens between a man and a woman and a horse? That is why I come here to the Cannes Porn Festival to speak about the pros and cons of pornography and also to talk to some ladies that has had more knobs in them than anyone else in the world. Respect. Ali in the porno, Ali in the porno. Ali in the porno, Ali in the porno. Ali in the porno. Now 
it ain't every day that you get to meet someone that you was had over 300 masturbations of. <laughs> but today, I is gonna chill with the most famous porn star in the world, Jenna Jameson. Is there anything that you wouldn't do? Um, well, I haven't done anal yet. You're joking. I'm not joking. I haven't done it yet. But I'm probably... Not gonna... even with your boyfriend? Oh, of course with my boyfriend. All right, for real, you've got to do that. That is like, <laughs> if a girl don't do that, she don't She's crazy. care for you. you know? Yeah, exactly. For real. <laughs> now, that means real bosoms. Have a look at them. Can we see them off, please? This way. Can we have the banana, please? Jewel, can you masturbate? Jewel, can you masturbate? <laughs> so, does you do up the bum? Up? Up at the bum, eh? Oh, maybe in the up. bottom, in the bottom. Do you have sex? Hello? <laughs> what is that cheeky thing that, that popped out of? Hello, nice to meet you. <laughs> Ciao, hello. And what is your name? Hello? <laughs> oh, thank you. God show that to me, really. Man, I ain't never gonna wash my face again. Can I have a look at your boobs as well, please? Oh, no, you Have a look. Thanks a lot. It's a shame normal life ain't like this in England. In England, you have to take a girl to the movies, you have to buy her dinner, you have to do everything before you get to see her boobs. In France, you just go up to them, you say, can I have a look at your boobs, can I have a look at your mouth, and they show you. Hey, come on, show her a bit of respect, man. Hey, come on. She kiddo. Check this out, there's a midget licking someone's mouth, in, and there's people around. Me is seeing a lot of naked ladies today, and me is feeling well only. The only way to let it out is by organising a gangbang. Hopefully, I'm going to get down a thousand ladies onto the beach to be nubbed by me. Me Julie will never find out because she is over five thousand miles away in Berkshire. In it. Six o'clock. We is providing the conies. No panties required. And if you come lubed up to the max, we'd appreciate that. We'll hang on to this. Okay? Thanks. Thanks a lot. If you just come by yourself without your friend, push it out. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, but you think maybe you'll be there? Okay. I mean, it'll be lovely to see you there. Maybe. I'd love to bang you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> There is a lot of premieres going on in Cannes tonight and the Travolta party and all that. So, I guess I was gonna call it a day. Wait a sec. Who be these cheeky young things? There is a whole coach load here of girls who's come special for the Ali Gangbang. Here, come along here. Has you all come for the uh, nobbing on the beach? Yes! yes. 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 You don't mind me just nobbing all the girls? Well, the trouble is we don't have really a half an hour. So well, I could nob, I could probably nob about 20 of them in about 15 minutes. Like nobbing. You know, to break them in. <laughs> Come on, please, let's do it. Just with one of them first. Well, the trouble is we don't know what knobbing means. So knobbing is like to, you know, to when a man loves a woman, mm -hmm. you know, they know. Oh, all right. So I don't think we can do that. Are um, you sure? Sorry for the trouble. Not even you. Bye bye. No, of course not. Always the same. They tease you, take you up to the right last minute, then they bugger off. That is woman. That is the mystery of woman. I still love them. <laughs> Having got to know Mo a bit, I is feeling his injustice, and I is going to try and help him out now to get a British passport. Now, as far as I can see, your inability to rap is your main obstacle to getting a British passport. <laughs> so let's sort it out right here, right now. Me and you, Mo, is going to yeah. be like a pair of rappers. Excellent. Like I is Snoop, you is Dr. Dre, I is Chuck D, you is Flavor Flav, I is the method man, you is the old dirty bastard. <laughs> you are the dirty bastard. <laughs> DJ, give me the beat. <laughs> if 
Willkommen der Shopkeeper, Mohammed. Willkommen der Shopkeeper, Mohammed. Im der Live Case Winner, Alpha. Im der The Nice Face. He got a big winky, Alpha. Na 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 na, Minky, Alpha. He got a nice face. Now, Mohammed, cause yeah. we're good mates now. Next time I go into Arabs and I see something that I like, I got one question: Can I nick it? You can't nick it. Can I nick it? But for you, it's okay. Can I nick it? Yeah, it's okay. Good, yeah. cause I was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> Every Englishman must have a hobby. Some like to collect the stamp, some like to make the jam. But the most fun is to kill a little animal with a shotgun or rip him up with a wild dog. <laughs> this is why I come to the countryside to find out about English hobbies. Thank you. Hello, you are here on a hunt? Yes, yes I am indeed. And you are... Do, well, why do you not have a horse? I can't afford one, quite honestly. Why not? I, <coughs> I'm retired now and... Um, you are retired? Yes, I'm retired. Yes, like a mongoloid? So you hunt a lot? I hunt a lot, yes. You are a real man? Oh, uh, yes, I am, yes. We say a man who do not hunt in Kazakhstan is like a man with no... Uh, oh, how do oh, you no, say? I, I, you say you're no bollocks, I suppose. Yes, bollocks. I shouldn't say that. You have a big bollocks. <laughs> yes, probably. You have big bollocks. No, I don't think so. Not now. Can I touch them? No. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, it's private. You are English policeman. I am, yes. V Hello. Hello. <laughs> you believe in the hunt or...? I, I have to remain impartial with my yes. answer. Because you are English uh, policemen. That's right. And the cricket. greatest police in the force. <laughs> and they say everything's cricket in England, don't they? We do. Everything is cricket. Cricket. We have to be This fair. is uh, cricket. No, no, no. It's just a saying. Just a saying. The play... Cricket. Well... Yes, cricket. <laughs> cricket is, yes. uh, is a gentleman's sport. Yes. And everyone has the right to be gentlemen in England as such. And they play cricket today? No, 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 no. I'm confusing you now. Yes. I'm confusing you. Forget the cricket side of things. Yes. I'm sorry, that's just a saying. And people, they do protest against the cricket? Forget the cricket. The cricket yes. is purely a saying. It's yes. a saying, yes? Yes, you just say cricket. Yeah, I just say cricket. Forget that. It doesn't matter. Okay. I... Nothing to do with hunting. Okay. 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 So why did you say this? <laughs> Why do you like to hunt the fox? I do not hunt the fox. I think people that hunt the fox are the scum of the earth. In Kazakhstan. You kill bears. Yes, help them. You, you kill bears. You kill bears. That's evil. No, in Kazakhstan we shoot a uh, animal. We do not hunt the fox. Well, you should be talking to us because we love animals. And we that's love, why we're here. We love animals too. Why do you shoot them? Uh, for fun. <laughs> Kill folks. But you kill bears. There is no more bear in Kazakhstan. No, you kill them all. In Kazakhstan, we love animals. Good for you. We have most popular program on television is animal program. Good. It's called It Dancing Dog and Cat. They dress uh, the dog like a family royal, like a Prince Elizabeth, 
one with a crown and they dance but one. Do they treat that animal well? Yes, they treat very well. They give a food and they only have the the floor is a bit hot so they jump. <laughs> It is great, we love in Kazakhstan to kill animals, <laughs> to hunt. It's so much fun. It is much fun. It is much fun. It is a great feeling when you kill an animal. It is, it is, it is. It, it, it makes you feel uh, like a real man. It does, it makes you feel big. We like to uh, shoot a dog in Kazakhstan. You, you shoot dogs? Yes. Do you? Well, in England, we'd rather like dogs. So we, but we why don't. you like them? Here, here in Kazakhstan, they say this, they think it's crazy. Oh. Thank you very much. OK, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a good journey. Thank you. <laughs> bye. I has rights, you have rights, even animals has rights. <laughs> so earlier on, I got in two professors, an animal rights activist and a woman with a hedgehog to ask them some questions. <laughs> we have an animal here in the studio. Should we get it out? What the oh. fuck is that? <laughs> what is that? It's a hedgehog. A little wild creature. When they're afraid, they go into a ball. Ah, that, ah that's what you... Now isn't that's that... Cool. You like that now. But, like, after about five minutes after they've done that, why would you want to keep them? Because it's <laughs> part of our heritage to have wild You're asking a question uh, as though the value of that animal... I or a flower or anything, could only right. consist in, could only be its value to you. OK. Yeah, oh, that's funny. I can eat it. I'm getting a laugh out of that. Or it makes a good football or whatever. Right. That uh, would make a good football. Yeah. <laughs> but, but <laughs> the... What, that is illegal yes, to use them is. as football. It took a long yes, time. Yes, it is. Liz, what if a kid is poor and don't have enough money to buy a good you quality can't buy. football? That's very cool. But Liz, it is interesting because it's only in the last three or four years mm. that it has been illegal for a child to kick a hedgehog because, well, hell, I like that's kicking right. hedgehogs. That's right. I'm not talking about anyone. But, but what I was thinking about... It is thinking about their, their, their little mammals, um, to that extent, they would feel pain. Well, let's talk about people who teach their pets special things. Is that wrong? Because me got this mate, Dave, him teach his pet to, like, go wicked. When he slapped it, it is an amazing thing to do. The, the pet can go wicked, this little dog. Michael, don't this guy, this dog that is being just as a little jab with the fork or whatever, oh. ain't he enjoying that? I don't know what you mean by a little jab, jab with, with a fork, fork or whatever. <laughs> Uh, that rather worries yeah. me. Uh, that worries me. Well, it don't hurt, bit. it don't bleed well, or don't, anything like that. No, and no, I ain't no, never done it, but no, this is a guy I know. a pin prick, as they say in the laboratory. OK, is it wrong for people to do experiments on animals in their own home? <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's wrong and unscientific. Because we did a thing years ago uh, with this mouse in this microwave, whatever, to try about nuclear, <laughs> to do a nuclear test to see if it could you know, survived the nuclear thing, and it did survive. It came out, it was hot, whatever, but it was still alive. <laughs> Is that wrong? Yeah, that's pretty appalling. fiendish. Pretty fiendish. <laughs> so, Mikey, Mikey, has you ever eaten the meat? Oh, no, I couldn't. What happened if you had, like, Big Mac here, really nice? Did you say Big Mac? Aye. I'd go out straight out of that door. Why? Uh, a Big Mac, I've never set foot in a McDonald's yet. What happened if there what was the best, of it? best meat and the best... What do you if you mean? don't like ch what do you mean Big the Mac, best whatever, meat? the best chicken McNugget, whatever. Oh, chicken <laughs> McNugget? You mean that colonel, that bogus colonel? No. Colonel. <laughs> what if it was free? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. You have, no, you have to think of it. Well, yes or no, what if it was free? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> what if someone no paid you a hundred squid? I wouldn't. <laughs> what happened if they say, here's a chicken, you eat this, or we kill another chicken? Just ask a question, which was the hardest question mm -hmm. that the toughest moral philosopher when I did philosophy at university mm -hmm. asked us. Wiki. Are you in the house? What 
is space and why is it so important? To find out more, I've come to Cape Canaveral, which is meant to be almost as good as the Notting Hill Canaveral, even though it's got less brothers. <laughs> Wicked, I is here with Rick Searforce. Him is a NASA astronaut, went on the space shuttle a few times, and was actually the commander of the space shuttle. He is gonna tell us about space, because it ain't only the Earth that is out there, there's also something outside it called space, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, I mean. So what's the longest you've been in space? My longest space mission was my last one, and it was 16 days on board the space shuttle. 16 days? Mm -hmm. How did you hold your breath right. for that long? You don't need to hold your breath in the space shuttle because uh, it's a pressurized cabin, just like an airplane on an airliner. What is a planet? A planet is, well, we live on a planet. Earth is a planet. It's round. It's, uh, it's pretty large, but it's small compared to a star. Like, the sun is a star, right. and you could take a million Earths. A million Earths could fit inside the sun that's how big it is. What, the sun is bigger than the Earth? Oh, yes, much bigger. Sorry, but it's just so it's far about... away. Well, of course, it's so far away. <laughs> so the sun ain't that small? No, no, it's huge, really. It's just so far away. It's it... much bigger than that. <laughs> yes. What about drinking? Mm -hmm. Did it feel strange drinking your own wee? <laughs> I'm not sure. Your own oh oh urine no we don't we don't do that actually in the space shuttle because it, however good it is it can never taste like a real apple well, tango or whatever. Well, I don't know I've never tried it. No I tried it but, once yeah. but it don't. It's rough. <laughs> How did you get on with the other drivers? We got on great with our crew. I had just a great crew. What was the most annoying thing that one of the other drivers did? Oh. <laughs> did, he, did any of them go did 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 for like all the old time? No, did 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 no did one did any of that. That would be irritating after that. <laughs> what would you do if somebody did go ni 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 no no no? Well, I would, for the old as time. the boss man and commander, I would pull them aside, just that person and me, and we would talk and say, I know you might like doing what you're doing, but it's bothering the rest of us and it's hard for us to do our work. Would you ever chuck him out? Uh, not outside of the space shuttle because, I mean, it's not worth killing somebody. Over. That would never happen. Does you ever have any student from England who come here? There has been one lady from England who flew on the Russian space station Mir. Do you know my uncle Jamal? Uh, no. <laughs> Jamal Kazir with a K. Because Inter-D went up on one of the things. That name is not familiar. All right, well, we can talk a lot of nonsense, but... Okay. <laughs> if he ain't been on it, then he owes me a tenner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's talk about... Will I get a share of that tenner? Yes, yeah, will. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it will. You know, a couple of quiz, but... <laughs> 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 Now, Class 4B, let's talk about what you want to be when you grow up. Emily. I want to be a nurse. I want to be a teacher, just like you, miss. I want to be a badass ghetto pimp. <laughs> you, Emily G, will never amount to anything. You'll spend the rest of your life in stains, and you will never be a gangster rapper. Never, 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 never. I used to think that I could not go on And life was nothing but an awful thong Then a miracle in life I must achieve But first that change must start inside of me I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. I think about it every night and day. I spread my wings and I fly away. I believe I can soar. 
see me run through that open door. Oh, I believe I can fly. If I just spread my wings I can fly, I can fly. down now. <laughs> the artist has got caught up. I think I might have trapped one. <laughs> Tim, please. Yeah, to match. Hello. I like you. Everybody say, mad dog and English gentleman, go dance in the midnight sun. But why? I come to England to find what make English gentlemen English gentlemen. Chikui. Hello, Borak. Okay. How are you? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to see you. If men come in here with uh, men and bodyguard, uh, rich, uh, uh, with beautiful lady, with chef pussy, yeah. with uh, uh, dogs, you will uh, serve him. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Thank I would you. do that, 44, and then yes. I'd say to you... What are you doing? <laughs> measuring your leg. No. And then I measure... What, uh, what do you do? You measure your leg. You try to uh, touch... No. Uh... I don't try to do anything. I, all I do is measure your leg. You are not the... Uh, huh? Uh, homosexual. Sorry? You're not the... Uh... I, I don't think so. I, but uh, you better ask my wife. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think suddenly you touch... Uh, no, no problem. My, uh, I, no problem. Please, no, no you can touch. <laughs> to be an English gentleman, I need an English lady. That's why I made Mrs. Heskill, who teach me how to flirt, so that I can do a sex with English girl. Hmm. <laughs> who come to learn to flirt? Well, people like you. I tried, yes, you see, I just had to do that yeah. and you went flirty. Yes, um, I like. When you meet someone, you have to look around at them and ask them and think about something you can compliment them on. So if you look at me now, think about you... something you like about me and just say, uh, give me. You have nice tits. <laughs> tits, tits. <laughs> Why you like? Uh, tits, tits. Yeah, uh, uh, tits. Yeah. <laughs> nice tits. Is that the kind of compliment you would give to somebody? Flirting is a prelude to meeting someone. Yes. What is a man of prelude? Uh, a, pr a beginning. It's a yes. beginning. It's a way of connecting with somebody so that you can meet them and decide whether they're somebody you want to spend more time with. So after how many minutes can I say, hello, do you want to do with a sex, please? <laughs> Hey. Hello. Bye. Nice Bye. to meet you, my friend. My friend. Very nice friend. to meet you. You have a gentleman club. Yes. Now, the idea of my gentleman's club has a different connotation. In Kazakhstan, we have a club where you go, you have other men, they come with friends, they watch, they talk, they do business, they watch a porno <laughs> with a, a man and a woman. We see one with a shave a pussy. Very exciting to see. Is something. Why you laugh? Why you laugh? Why you laugh? You laugh at me. I'm a twist. And this jacuzzi. It. Uh, That's here. Uh -huh. It is a fantastic. And ha what is uh, you have a with a girl? Of course. <laughs> What is the most number of people you have? In this one? <laughs> Four is comfortable, six is a crowd. <laughs> now I go to see English club. <laughs> Very nice. Mike Evans, I'm the... <laughs> well, uh, the club secretary of... Uh, the Hello. This is the library. It's very beautiful room. Do you ever throw out member? 
Uh, it has been known to happen, yes. If a man uh, get very drink and do a, a dirt... Oh, no, I don't think we'd allow yeah. that at all. No. So, uh, yes. And what if a man wants to make love to a man's bottom? Uh, we certainly don't uh, approve of that at all. We think he's wrong. Yes. Maybe he's primitive. We, we do as well. It's, it's, um, homosexuality is not encouraged in the club. So a gentleman is not homosexual? Definitely not. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello. It's nice to meet you. And you have been to Stringfellow Club? No. It is fun because you have a woman with a big, how you say, uh, mammary glands. Mama. Mammary glands is the word you're looking for. <laughs> or, or breasts. Breast, 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 like a tit, tit. Tit, not a gentleman's word. They have a uh, girl that stand like this. Right. I'm sure you have them in Kazakhstan as well. We have, but uh, they <laughs> just stand like this, you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, you mustn't wrestle them so much. Yes. Clearly, they made them but drop. But the Tajik girl is a very big. Oh, so you like the those. Tajik, but Uzbeki, tiny, 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 tiny. <laughs> horses for courses. No, we do not do with that. We do not like with a horse. No, I don't think that. It's an expression. It simply means that some people like one sort of thing, once people like another. I do not like English idiom. People who like an animal to make love is a sick. Yes, I think that's what you meant. Are you sure like me when you watch a video, you fast forward to the most interesting and educationalist bit? Like in Titanic, you go to 2 hours, 8 minutes and 15 seconds in, where you see Kate Winslet's Babylons. Nice. Or in Pocahontas, where just after the waterfall scene, you can check out a tiny bit of her nip. I know it's a cartoon, but it is based on a real person. She's so fit. Anyways, in this next bit, I've got all the discussions from the series and done the fast-forwarding for you, in it. In the first one, where Lady Olga Maitland crossed her legs, you can check out a little bit of her Fred Quimby. I Shave it. Okay, well let's talk about this. 20 years ago, women didn't have the vote, but nowadays it's considered equal. Do you think in 20 years' time, animals will have the vote? I don't for a moment. Why not? <laughs> there is also human beings. They're not. But there is dogs that can drive. Why won't they be able to vote? What do you mean, dogs can drive? Well, I've seen that on the telly. Well, I've seen on... I think you have to accept that the human, uh, human world is vastly different from the animal world. Well, why can't are not they have beings? an animal parliament or something? Well, well the, the, there's a famous case which you're pointing to, if you're not careful, ah. in George Orwell's novel Animal Farm, which is a oh, satire on the lack... Oh, I've seen a film with that. Right. It's a <laughs> Well, you see the animals. Or something. No, and, and, and what he was talking about there was fascism or communism and what happens, and he used the animals just as an analogy. And human beings... The one with, like, the horses and that yeah. girl... Yeah, and the pig takes the over there. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh, that was disgusting. <laughs> some animals are equal, but some animals are more, more equal, equal than, than others. others. <laughs> it's a very famous quote. I can't believe we've all seen that. that Two is... legs, good, four legs. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that bit. That is... <laughs> But, but that, but, I but, that but, was what, illegal, what that? that film. At what age should parents give their kids their first spliff? What's a spliff? Like, uh. It's illegal, do you know that? It ain't illegal if your dad gives it to you. <laughs> do you think at least they should teach them how to recognise good gear so they don't get sold by the old No, you should never teach a child that. You'll go to hell for it, in my opinion. You want to end up in your middle years visiting your child in prison, where he's beaten and buggered and given drugs, his life's finished. I mean, that's just the pits, man. For real, for real, that's the pits. <laughs> As you would say. OK, let's bring this on. 
Do you think there's enough teenage pregnancy? <laughs> Too much. But don't you think if it's working down there, then put it to use? If the grass is on the pitch, let's play. The fact what is known as the cognitive maturity, to be able to relate cause and effect, for example. How come there's so much teenage pregnancy if English girls is all so frigid? Explain that. I don't know that they are. I don't know they are. <laughs> well, they are. They've got nothing on the French, because my mate went to Calais and he, <laughs> he slept with three girls, and that was only in a day trip, and one of them was 28. Well, that's just promiscuous, for God's sake. He must have paid them. He didn't pick them up in the supermarket. No, that's he said they fancied him, and one of them was a model. They do it for a living. <laughs> Is it right to donate organs? Absolutely, it's a gift culture. Do you think if you was having an heart transplant, it's right for you to meet the person first? If you have a heart transplant, the person's dead. <laughs> With transplant, when does it stop being you? When I say you, I mean, I don't mean you. I mean, like, you know, if, I'd, if you had transplant, I don't know if you was at or if you ain't. You know what I'm saying when I say you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's change the subject here. Wouldn't it be great if we had the technology to make sure that everyone was black? Or is that a, just a dream? No, I couldn't. Or ain't that a bit racialist? I think, um, <laughs> no, I don't think That's it is. That's a bit racist, I isn't it? It's a bit racist I think it's a bit racist. Speak to the hand, because the head ain't listening. I think it's a bit racist to suggest that it would be a good thing for everybody to be black. You see, your point was very interesting. You said, why uh, shouldn't everybody be black? But that's because you happen to be black. And you okay. say, I want people to be like me. Let's talk about doctors who is ending the lives of people who is old and suffering. Do you think that that is right? They set up a committee of the good and the great, the House of Lords. Two years they spent looking at the issue. In the end, all 12 say no law for euthanasia. But what has it got to do with the euthanasia? I mean, it ain't there <laughs> for these people who dying. They're thousands of miles away. Euthanasia means mercy killing. It literally means dying well. We're not talking but about why is the euthanasia or the youth in Africa. But Asian kids or it's, it's not Asian kids. <laughs> Professor Michael. What is the idea of recycling? The idea of recycling, I would say, was to cut down on all the materials that go through our patterns of consumption. Ain't it dirty to use something that has been used before? <laughs> no. Well, if you think that, almost everything we do has been used before. Even the water we drink, uh, we, we bath in, has been actually gone... What do you gone, mean it's been used before? It's, it's gone through eight human bodies. What do you mean it has passed There all? are scientists here who know more about the science. <laughs> They've it. drunk it, it's gone into the yeah. sewage, it's gone into the river, and then somebody else has... Uh, it's gone into some water treatment and then it's somebody else has drunk it. So you was having a bath in someone's... Pardon me, French <laughs> piss? <laughs> That's right. Not so I ain't never having a bath again. <laughs> Is you serious about a bath? Yeah, absolutely serious. Yeah. So is it, so Professor, is it all right to have a piss in the bath? As far, <laughs> yeah, as far as the water supply is concerned, fine. Do you think, though, it is morally right to use recycled bog roll? I don't think we have a choice. I sometimes use a sheet twice if it ain't got much on it, much dirt on it. Is that a good thing? Oh, yes, it's all right. Let's take it on to global warming. What would you prefer to have? No ozone or stinking pits. They, you don't have to make that choice. There are different ways of using anti-deodorant without using those awful spray things, which I react to badly anyway. I've never, ever used one in so my life, do and use? I don't stink. Here, smell my armpit, no, man. <laughs> He's scared. He's scared. I, we're going to go round, and I want you to say one word that you want them at home to take home with them. Margaret. Peace. Change. This is a restless earth. One word. <laughs> Change. Which one? Change. 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 The earth changes all the time. All right. Forget the restlessness. <laughs> Commitment. Sink. Peace. Restlessness. Change. Commitment. It was commitment. Commitment. Change. Sink. Think and change your restless peace. <laughs> yes. Very, very good. good. I do the lyrics. So, okay, my word is respect. Respect yourself, respect the environment, and respect... 
you know, <laughs> other things. Selector, check this. I is known as a peacemaker. In May 1994, you probably heard how I ended the turf war between the Chertsey crew and the Beaconsfield posse. <laughs> Since that date, there's been absolutely no drive-by killings in the whole of West Berkshire. <laughs> but now I has got me on show, I is gonna use my gift to end war throughout the whole world and achieve maximum global respect. We is gonna start tonight by trying to solve the conflict between North and South Korea. Now, these two nations is divided over the 38th parallel and has been fighting each other since World War II. Today, I is going to change the world by getting one ordinary person from each of those two countries and trying to make peace between them. Please welcome Soo Young Kim from North Korea and Ji Jin Wei from South Korea. Has you got something to say to her? I hate you. I hate everything you stand for. Listen, you has been fighting for long enough. Please say sorry. No, I won't. I cannot forgive the things your country has done to mine. Please, this is ridiculous. You must at least <laughs> shake hands. No, I won't. Never. Please, for the sake of the children, make a change. <laughs> Give me a lot of satisfaction to see that. <laughs> Remember, we is all the same people underneath. Clothes is just a symbol of our differences. So take them off. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> Very good. Quickly. It is easier to resolve it all there. Nice. You see, under our clothes, we is all exactly the same. Actually, North Korea is a little bit fitter. <laughs> but then again, South Korea is a much more mountainous country. <laughs> but North Korea has absolutely no forest areas. <laughs> South Korea, can you show you us a bit more into peace, please? Good. Now, please, because it is so important, will you please take up the baton of peace? <laughs> Let's hope that that is the only red button that you will ever have to press. <laughs> now. Nah. It seems that these countries is putting down their guns and settling their differences. But to make sure that they never fight again, it is important to bring in the peacekeeping force of Jamaica. <laughs> I tell you, it's good to get your own show, you know? <laughs> you can really help the world. <laughs> you should have done this a long time ago, no? <laughs> Next week, we will be making... What? What? Where? Shit. <laughs> me nan on the bog. 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 <laughs> there is no conflict that we will not try and end on this show. Next week, we will be hoping to end the war between Sweden, Denmark and a dog. <laughs> Respect. First, even if I strode alone, explode. Word up. <laughs> the filth, scum, pig, these are some of the terrible things the police is called. Other things include the fuzz and the fuzzy muff. <laughs> but you've got to give the flange respect, because they is keeping the streets safe from the most dangerous weapons. This is Detective Superintendent David Hatcher from the police. He is here to show us some of the terrible weapons that brothers is using on brothers every day. End that right. Now, what is this? 
Right, this is a... Uh, it basically is two bits of wood. It's called a chucker. Sometimes it's called a flail. So where can you get these kind of things? <laughs> well, you can't buy them in this country For legally. For real. So which countries can you buy these things from? <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to advertise where uh, they can come from. For real. What has we got in here? Right, this looks like a... This is actually a very small knife, a dagger, that, uh, oh, no. as you can see... That is an interesting thing. And how much is one of these? <laughs> one? Uh, I've no idea. Aye, uh, for real. <laughs> so, what about this? Is this well dangerous? That is wicked. What is that? <laughs> I've never seen that before. What is that? Is that well dangerous if you go like that? And then, like... Flip that around. What is that? Dangerous anyway, you look at it, isn't it? I mean, it's got a sharp point, it's got a blade. That uh, is mental, it's... man. I ain't never seen any, anything like that. How would you carry that like that? Or... So, what if you was, let's say, in the kitchen, you was chopping carrots with a machete or something, because you don't have anything, and then the phone ring, and then it slip into your sock, and you don't know, and then you was running to get a bus, and it fall into someone's arm? you know, a couple of times. Is that legal or illegal? You've got a wild imagination. I that means thinking I about would, the law. Would that I'd be legal or illegal? I'd say that's absolutely illegal. illegal. No court is going to believe that that sequence of events was really likely to occur. So would this be legal to carry around with you? Because that is... No, because that's designed only for one purpose. Uh, I mean, you, for you, you couldn't convince me that you'd got that with you for anything legal. What if you just said you got it for your packed lunch or something? <laughs> I'd say convince the court, Alan, because I don't believe you. You're coming with me. Aye. Where? <laughs> what not? If you like. What do you mean? <laughs> because all right, you'd be all right, you're saying you're <laughs> pretending to be in the fit. Right, I, was, I didn't understand what you were talking about. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. What kind of excuses do a court believe with knives? If, if it's the truth and if it's reasonable, right. then hopefully the court will believe it. What For I'm not real. going to do is to give you a list of things that I would suggest a court might believe because you could use that excuse For and real. it not really be true. So has you ever come in contact with a criminal who can put in a hand into someone's body and take out the heart and just... <laughs> <like that? laughs> because they, I know they've seen that in the films and whatever, but they say if he was really trained at Kung Fu or whatever, you can do that. There may be somebody who can. It's Aye. news to me. Aye. So what is you going to be doing with all these weapons afterwards? <laughs> well, they'd be taken to a, an iron foundry, they'd all be melted down and destroyed. So would you auction them? <laughs> <laughs> what, what about if it was for charity? Not even for charity. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Chief thank Superintendent. You. Big up, respect. Check this. In America, it is legal to carry around machine guns for children as young as 14 years old. Wicked! <laughs> so that is why I have come to the HQ of the NRA, the National Rifle Organization. Check it. Has anyone ever been killed by a gun? <laughs> yes. When? <laughs> I don't know. So what is the one gun a month scheme? One gun a month, um, that would, there, you know, there's a proposal, a different proposals that would prohibit someone from purchasing more than one gun a month. Well, so that would only be like 10 a year or whatever? 12 or so. Oh, uh, well, whatever. I mean, if that law came into place or whatever, and it was Christmas and you wanted to get, like, your niece a gun or whatever, then her brother would be jealous if you ain't got him one That's as well. That's a very good point. <laughs> parents might feel that way. And that could split up but the family or whatever. I don't know if you've got a brother or a sister. I have a little brother. Do you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I've got a sister, but she's a bit... Uh. <laughs> one eye ago. Uh. Like that. Do you think there is some middle ground that can be reached between you and the gun people? Well, we've tried. We've tried. There's what? not a lot of middle ground there. What about allowing guns but banning bullets? Would you be into that? <laughs> um, we would like to see great restrictions on bullets. So what about allowing bullets but banning guns? <laughs> well, again, we want to have very strong restrictions on guns. We, we would like to have strong restrictions on guns and bullets. So what about allowing guns and banning bullets? No, I've done that one. <laughs>
What, okay, what about allowing guns but having bullets that don't fit the guns? <laughs> Would that be a way? Well, again, in, in this country, to actually pass a law, we have to get past the people who are, who are making all the money, making the guns and selling the guns and making the bullets and selling the bullets. But the girls, they like the guns, huh? The girls, they like the guns. You've got a little... Sure man. they you do. You're going to get some serious bitches. Yeah, but, but how much are they going to like you after you've been shot and you're in a wheelchair and you can't go to the bathroom by yourself? Yeah, they ain't going to like you then. Or, or after you've been shot and you're in a hospital and you're brain damaged, you're going... Uh, I mean, how, how much are the girls going to like you then? No, they ain't going to like you then, but until that happens, they ain't going to be well into you. Yeah, but that's going to happen pretty quick, man. Isn't up, Ali. Bob Khan, how are you? For real, very good. Very nice to see such a lovely shop. But do you sometimes give these guns away to charity? No. <laughs> we used to uh, give guns away to the Boy Scouts. Aye, right, that's a good idea. <laughs> so that is well worth it. So this is for, like, just, let's say, walking down the street or... Now, this is for police use, or a lot of people have these on their boats for protection on uh, private boats. Can I go so like that? A, sure. Are you sure? It won't shirt. go off? Nope. You promise? I promise. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute, go ahead. Wait a minute. Go ahead, do it now. Yeah. Yes, that's a good feeling. That's good. <laughs> and then you press that. And you press the trigger. You sure it ain't gonna go off? No, try it. <laughs> yeah. Respect. Big up yourself. Okay. Do you want to give a shout out to anyone? I have nothing to say. Uh, oh, right. You anything. got nothing to say to us at all? No, not anything, except right. I don't like. Uh, I don't like uh, your political system. All right, uh, thanks a lot. To a great deal, and I don't like your laws right, so with thanks. regard to guns. So let's go around now, Liz. If you will give me one example of how you will get kids off the street, off the crack, and into your house of spirit. I think, I think if, uh, if Jesus was here now, and he probably uh, would be rapping, because uh, he was a great real. storyteller in his time. I think he'd be saying, don't get fooled by the people who are ripping you off. So you think if Jesus was here now, he would be a rapper? To be sure. The rabbi. Well, God isn't the rapper, and in Judaism, God doesn't have his messengers. Me and other rabbis and other Jews would be God's messengers. There's no Mohammed, no Jesus. I've got to be the rapper. There's a problem today is with you. Is you a rapper? If though? necessary, I can be, yeah. If, if what would you be rapping? What would I be rapping? I'd be rapping that... Um, you know, come to me, don't be a fool. Come to me, God is cool. What, carry on with your message. Well, let's let me, see if you can rhyme another one. Let me help you get on your feet. God can help you get off the street. What about you? Do you have some rhymes that you can take? Uh, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He will lift you out of strife. I want you to listen to what I say. For real. Jesus Christ is alive today. Which is, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, what is... Jew reaction to Batty Boys. Judaism does frown upon homosexuality. Is Christian so against Batis? There are certain kinds of human behavior uh, that are either not advisable or in some cases are wrong. Don't you think it's hypocritical when Jesus may have been a gay? <laughs> On what basis do you say that, Annie? Well, he hanged with a lot of other men. He had moustache. You know. The evidence that there is in Jesus is that he is always uh, the person for outsiders. Do you think he is gay? Do I think he's gay? I, I wouldn't know. I've only met him a short while ago. Are you gay? No. Would you have a problem being an atheist and being gay? No, not at all. Is it true that the Jews chop their knob off? Um, circumcision, yes. What about you, atheist? Would you get circumcised? I don't think there's any particularly good reason to. Um, so, probably but as not, a gesture. As a, uh, I, I don't think that the other people here would appreciate that as a, some kind of gesture. Wouldn't it be an amazing thing now if we could all do one of the other people's rituals? Uh, Rabbi, if you, would you wear a turban or something? Um, no. But I would be ready to take off this hat. In fact, I'd take it off now. And I'd say, whoever is brave enough to put this on, put this on your head. Will you put it no on? No problem. OK, put it on. <laughs> put it on. Why won't you do that with your hat? I'll put that on. Why won't you put that on? I would put that on. OK, put that on. There you go. There you go. Now, this 
doesn't mean I'm embracing any faith of any sort. That represent my crew, that represent, you know, the Berkshire Massive, whatever. <laughs> but in the same way that your hat, can we try on your hat? Go ahead, please, by all means. There you so go. So is I now a Jewish? No. Jinkui, I come to Henley Regatta, where old English gentlemen look at young muscly boy in a boat shaped like a man's hram. This is most special event of summer season. I come to find why. Yakshimash. So what is Henley Regatta? Henley Regatta is an international regatta that was founded about 160 years ago. And. Uh, is there a woman in the club? Yes, yes. They can be, not as members. Oh, yes. But they are fantastic in a kitchen, in a, yes. in a bed. Yes. But in a, a sport is... The, in the sport, they learn, so they learn self-control. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the, ah! <laughs> 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 yes, what is it? Yes. Uh, they become very athletic, very, yes. very attractive to yes. Western Ah, men. because yes. they become strong. Not, not so strong, but, but lithe and flexible. It's nice, and this is these beautiful are, these are badge. The badges that are given out what does by it the mean, this? Lats Leander Club. And there is a pig, yes. a pig on it's a, this. It's a hippopotamus. What is hippopotamus? Hip hippopotamus. What the... It's an animal in Africa that swims in the water. A fish? No. Dig in the water. A hippo. You joke, with me. This is English humor. This is not a English humor. This water. is true. Yes, a hippo. A pig who drink water. I'm sure, yes. It a pig swims, who swims in the water. Who lives in the pig. water? It's pig size. Bigger. And will we see this pig in the water? No, you won't. You'll see the boats belonging to the club yes. that has pigs on yes. its badge. Yes. They have a pig on yeah. the, in the boat. They have a, a little symbol on the boat with a pig. There's a, and the, why do they carry the pig in the boat? They don't carry, they carry the symbol of it. Yes. You know, a little picture like, like your badge. Yes. There. And why do they show a picture because of that's a pig their, the, the Because that's their symbol. I don't know why. And why they choose a pig? Because in, in Kazakhstan we see a pig as dirty animal. Well, you see, it's not actually a pig, it's a hippo. Yeah. But... <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. We here have English tea. That's right. Yes, we've had our sandwiches. How many times have you been playing this? This is my first time. Oh, yeah. And you're enjoying it? It's beautiful. Everyone says that uh, it, it ran down like a, how you say, a piece. Yes. Yeah, we don't say that. You have wonderful moustache. I've had that for a very long time. Mine is nothing compared no, no, to your moustache. It just moustache. Take, takes time. Your moustache is beautiful. I'm very jealous. Well, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. May I ask, you are a man who does with another man? No. Yes. Definitely not. This is a very big national uh, race between these uh, two local rivals. Yes. You back bucks and I back bucks, right? I back bucks. And I back bucks. You back bucks. Come on, the bucks. You say, come on, buck. Come on, bucks. Come on, bucks. Come on, the bucks. Come on, the bucks. Yes, there they are. Coming down there now. Move the f. Yes. Move the bucks. Move the bucks. Move the fuck. Come on, bucks. Come on, the fucking bucks. This is a swell one. So I have learned a lot about Henry. I have had the best day of my life. Hello. We are almost at the end of the vid. 
Me hope by this point you was recognized that this tape is very much like me own beast. Ridiculously long, dark in places, and best enjoyed with a mouthful of nuts. Until next time, keep it real. West Side. Parents, if your teenage kids is suddenly lost a lot of weight, is looking very pasty, having mood swings and spending a lot of their time locked in their rooms, then they is almost certainly into indie music. <laughs> in my final bid to sort out this evil, me is invited on a man who has got it worse than most. Take one look at him and see how bad the effects can be. You will be scared, cause it's Jarvis Cocker. The show ain't finished yet. The cleaners come on after we's finished. <laughs> we, we's waiting for a big pop star. Can you piss off, please? It's me. Come off it. You look like a kiddie fiddler. <laughs> now, I first heard of you at the Brit Awards when you went on stage and tried to bum Michael Jackson. <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? That's not quite what happened. But no matter how into his music you is, you should never actually try and bum him. <laughs> Would you like it if someone came up to you now while you was on stage and tried to bum you here? Uh, actually, don't answer that. <laughs> now, your new album is called This Is Hardcore. Me bought it, invited around a couple of me mates, and <laughs> trust me, it ain't hardcore. <laughs> they got wet egg gear, me had to stick on shaving Private Ryan instead. Sorry. So, Jarvis, which track would you like me to help you out with today? Uh, well, I thought we could do a song called Help the Aged. Aye, uh, for real. The man, none other than Jarvis, big him up, let's take it to the thing. Jarvis Cocker India! the motherfucking aging. <laughs> Don't just put them in a hole. Don't put them in a mofo hole. <laughs> Can't have much fun in there or on their own. On a little pension. She smoked the herb just to ease the tension. She got a leak in a place I won't mention. The NHS call it water retention. Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima. Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima. Bim Bima, who stole me Nan Zima. It don't matter now, she's free stone slimmer. Side in the side and the out. Cause one day we were just like you. Keep off the crack, keep off the crack. Help the age Respect your nan. Cause one day you'll be old with you. Shake your butty, shake your butty. Help the age of you. The famous butty, shaking the butty. Help the age of Help. Thanks for watching today. I hope you've come away with something. 
I hope together maybe we can understand and only then change the world. <laughs> I have a dream <laughs> of little black girls <laughs> and little white girls playing with each other. <laughs> Let's make it happen. Good night and jobless. Ah, so, Jamaica, could you please? We're on you. Thank you. If you just come this way, okay. <laughs> All right. America has so far managed to avoid that kind of shite and still has telety of the highest quality. Check this. Then you will see the thing that you saw before. Yeah. All right. you know. We're pretending a few things, you know, because they go. Because they ain't going out live. <laughs> it it's not going out live, is it? <laughs> it's a that... <laughs> but this is wrong. It's not Arrods, Harrods, not Arrods. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's A. Arrods. You own Arrods. <laughs> With H, Harrods, not Arrods. I thought you own Arrods. No, Harrods, not Arrods. Do you know you if know you how to spell Harrods? <laughs> you put A instead of H. If you turn that around, you get turn it upside down. You get Asda. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> This from America that don't even fucking work. <laughs> check in their pants. No, I'm, I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to check in your pants. I'm not going to go that far. I hold you. Has you done it with a girl? <laughs> but <laughs> hey, don't go there. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> I didn't mean it about the pubes. <laughs> You've probably got pubes. <laughs> probably nice pubes. <laughs> if you show me yours, I'll show you mine. <laughs> you will be impressed. <laughs> it's done in dreads. <laughs> I say that it's actually got beads on it now, you know? <laughs> Stevie Wonder vibe. <laughs> Can't see out of my eye either. Yeah. <laughs> Be good if you could, though, wouldn't it? <laughs>